That's where it was ten minutes ago. Oh, well, we just want everything to be perfect. Yeah. Here? Um, I don't know. Can you try it to the right? Mm, yeah. How about now? Perfect. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Should we move it back? That's supposed to say Vicky and Charlie and, and Nora and Clint. Oh, my God. Yeah. Maybe nobody will notice. Uh, yeah, right. How did this happen? Are you sure you want to do this? I'm sure. I have to talk to Asa. You know, trying to contact someone who's moved on to another plane, I should warn you, this could be painful. I have to try. Well, the family planned a party tonight at his lodge. And you didn't want to go? I told them that I wasn't feeling well. Oh. But the truth is, I just miss him so much. <laughs> Do you think you're going to be able to reach him for me? Well, as my granny used to say, we never know until we try. <laughs> Asa. Asa Buchanan. Asa Buchanan, will you step up? Your wife would like to speak to you. Oh. Uh, what happened? Did, did, did you hear him already? He said... Don't bother me now, woman. I'm trying to set things right. I don't know how this happened. Maybe the printer just mixed up the names. If he did that, then it would say Nora and Charlie. I mean, how did Bo even get on there? You think it's someone who knew they were married? Well, well I mean, was it a joke? I mean, is it some sick idea of a joke? It was probably just a mistake. A stranger things have happened, I guess. Yeah, our, our parents having a double wedding. Two other people is strange enough. We've got to get this down before... Mo Too late. <clears throat> Hi. 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 Nice. Hi. All right, all right. One of you kids yeah. got cooked up here, huh? Nothing. No, get away. Let us see it. We're here. Come on. Come on. Well, the evening is off to a great start. Gigi doesn't... Nora and Bo, huh? Seriously? Okay, obviously somebody made a mistake. Yeah, at least you rate a mention. My name's not even on the thing. Uh -oh. You know what? Who needs a stupid <laughs> Guys, I swear to you, I, I went over all of this with the printer. Honey, don't worry about it. No one is blaming you. No, but I mean, I, I, I talked to the guy at least five times. I had to take the C out of the Vicky, the H out of Nora, and I sure as hell never said Bo. Natalie, it's all right. We know it's not your fault. Well, I'm going to find out whose fault it is. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to get us some refreshments. Uh, we'll come with you. <laughs> the lodge looks beautiful. Hmm? Yes, they did a wonderful job, didn't they? I haven't been here in ages. Awful lot of poker has been played here. <laughs> yeah. I always felt that if uh, Asa's ghost were to inhabit a place, it would be here. Oh. <laughs> well, this is where he came to do all of his thinking and do all of his planning. And oh, by God, he would have gotten a big laugh out of that banner. Okay, Clint, enough with the banner, all right? Enough. It was just someone, someone trying to be funny. Well, you know what? It wasn't funny. But it didn't mean anything. Yeah. Because I'm here with you. And I'm marrying you. And that's all that matters. Oh, that's what I'd like to think, yeah. Did Nora tell you that Matthew was suing her and Bo? What? Yes, he's suing for the right to consent to his own surgery. This miraculous surgery that could actually make him walk again. Or also turn him into a quadriplegic or kill him. He's suing you? Yes, this surgeon has filled his head with the thought that he could be playing basketball in no time. Oh, is this the surgeon that you brought, Clint? Oh, yeah. 
I'm so sorry. Well, it's not Clint's fault. It's just, it's, it's what it is. Well, as Matthew would say, the timing really sucked. But I told Nora that we should go ahead with the wedding, and because you know those occasions, they often they bring families together, and it's that damn sign. I'll show you a sign. Come here. Come here, you. Mm. That's a sign. I guess Grandpa never thought he'd have to make this place wheelchair accessible. I'm so sorry. That's that's my. We haven't come up here, so I forgot to about ramps. That's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. You know what? I'll call a contractor like first thing. Next week. You don't have to call anyone. I won't need it after my surgery. Um. Okay. Well, this isn't the time or the place to get into that. I'm just trying to be upbeat. I thought this was a party. Well, it, yes, but it's not just for us. It's Vicky and Charlie too. So. I can't be happy about being able to walk again? You can be happy about whatever you want to be happy about, okay? We're not going to talk about the surgery tonight. Fine. Then we'll talk about it in court when I beat you and Dad. Oh, oh, is that what your lawyer, Terry Delgado, was telling you? She didn't have to. No, she's just telling you to sue your own parents. It wasn't her idea, Miss Hannon. It was mine. I, I, I just can't believe things got this screwed to me. Madame Delfina, what does it mean? What is he trying to set right? A square dance? Square dance? Yeah, work with me here. Um, he says, who thought it would be a good idea to change partners dur right, during the do-si-do? -do? I think Nora's right. It's almost as if Asa were still here. You no, know, from what I heard, it wouldn't be a party without him. No, it wouldn't be a party without you. You know, you don't have to worry about that stupid sign. Who said I was worried? Well, good, because I'm not either. Oh, good. You know, you made it very clear a long time ago that you love me. Mm -hmm. And you also made it very clear that you and Clint are history. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, this is so frustrating. I wish I could talk to him myself. Maybe he meant a hoedown. What would Asa try to fix at a hoedown? Oh, you're asking me. Uh, hmm? He said... He says... What? What does he say? Where I come from, you're supposed to dance with the one that brung you. that the printer would make a mistake oh, like that. Oh, right already. Let it go. Accidents happen. Uh, Vicky and Clint and Bo and Nora, I mean, that's way more than an accident. What is it, a curse? I think you have been spending a little too much time around Roxy. I know it sounds stupid. I just, I wanted tonight to be perfect. Tonight is perfect. You're right. I don't, I don't know. I just... Sometimes in this house, I just feel all stirred up. Yeah, me too. This is where you told me that you are my uncle, and after that, everything in my life changed. I know, some night. 